Good morning students. Today we will see carrier concentration in P-type semiconductors. I am Dr. R. Priya, Professor of Physics, R&D Engineering College. So I hope that all of you have seen the first part of the video where we have derived up to the expression for EF. So for your reference, I am writing the last equation EF alone. Okay. So EF is equal to EV plus EA divided by 2 minus KBT divided by 2 ln NA whole divided by 2 into 2 pi MH star KBT divided by H square whole power 3 by 2. So this was the equation. Now I have to substitute this in the first equation that is for NH. Okay, I will write that equation directly and do the substitution also. Okay, so substitute EF equation into equation 1. Okay, so NH is equal to 2 into 2 pi mh star kbt divided by h square whole power 3 by 2 exponential put a flower bracket. The denominator is you know commonly it is kbt. Okay. So ev minus ef. So EF is in the above equation. Write that one. EV plus EA divided by 2 minus KBT divided by 2 ln NA divided by 2 pi into 2 pi MH star KBT divided by h square whole power 3 by 2. So up to this is EF. So I will put a separate bracket for this and then close the flower bracket including the denominator. Okay. Now what I do is 2 into 2 pi MH star KBT divided by h square whole power 3 by 2 exponential I take the LCM for the first two terms as KBT I am sorry 2 KBT ok so 2 KBT so what will I get EV minus EV minus EA So I will have next one is minus KBT, KBT and KBT will get cancelled, I will get 1 by 2 ln NA divided by 2 into 2 pi mh star KBT divided by H square whole power 3 by 2. Okay. Uh, here I missed writing 2. LCM is 2, no? So it is 2 EV. So then close the whole bracket. So I will get 2 into 2 pi MH star KBT divided by H square whole power 3 by 2 exponential I will get 2 EV minus EV is EV minus EA divided by 2 KBT. So 
So NH is equal to 2 into 2 pi MH star KBT divided by H square whole power 3 by 2. I am now breaking the exponential. See here, exponential A minus B. In general, how do I write this? Exponential A into exponential minus B. Okay. So, I use this basic formula to write this expression. Exponential EV minus EA divided by 2KBT. So, I write that one. Next term and as exponential. Half is there, no? I bring that as a power. Long. Okay. So, open the bracket. Power means NA power 1 by 2 divided by 2 power 1 by 2 into 2 pi m h star k b t divided by h square whole power 3 by 4. That is 3 by 2 power 1 by 2. So, 3 by 4. Okay. So, close this bracket, this bracket. Understood? So, let me write the expression now. You can see exponential log, they will cancel with each other. Okay. So, 2 into 2 pi m h star uh, into k b t divided by h square whole power 3 by 2. Let me write the exponential term in the last. I will bring this term here. Okay. So, n a power 1 by 2 divided by 2 power 1 by 2 then 2 pi m h star k b t divided by h square whole power 3 by 4 exponential e v minus e a divided by 2 k b t. Okay. So, now I will do the further simplification. So, I will cancel this and here the power will change to 3 by 4. Then here 2 power half is there. This will get cancelled with this and this will become 2 power half. Already NA power half is there, 2 power half is there. So, I will club this them together. So, 2 n a power 1 by 2. So, 2 pi m h star k b t divided by h square whole power 3 by 4 exponential e v minus e a divided by 2 k b t. Okay, so like before, okay, do the further uh, uh, simplification to write the final expression like this. 2 n a power half 2 pi m h star k b t divided by h square whole power 3 by 4 e exponential we know e a minus e v is delta e so i will write this minus delta e you can refer to the picture shown 2 k b t so this is n h so this is the expression for carrier concentration in p type semiconductor what is this delta e it is the ionization energy of acceptors so what is that it represents the energy required for an electron to move from valence band to the acceptor energy level so this is the end of the derivation so what i can conclude here is 
density of holes in the valence band is uh, proportional to the square root of the acceptor energy level. That is one uh, result we understand from the equation. Another one is uh, when temperature is increased, the Fermi energy level increases. At, at low temperature, it increases up to intrinsic Fermi level. Okay. So, with this, we are completing this derivation. Thank you. So, now let me draw the energy band diagram for P-type semiconductor. Okay. So, like this. I'm sorry. It is very difficult to draw in this board a straight line. Just bear with this. So it goes from minus infinity to plus infinity. So I am showing this is a P-type semiconductor, which means wider acceptor level. and a small conduction band, not acceptor level, valence band, okay. So, this is wider valence band and less wider conduction band. So, I will put this one as that is the lowest energy level in the conduction band to be represented as EC and highest energy band in the Valence band is represented as EV. Acceptor level is here. Close to valence band. Fermi level I have shown to be in between. Exactly in between EA and EV. When at T is equal to 0 Kelvin. So, when temperature increases, what happens? When temperature increases, uh, this EF slowly shifts up, up, up. So, it moves upwards. T where it can move? It can move up to the intrinsic level. Where will be the intrinsic level? Exactly in between EC and EB. So, okay, somewhere here. I will mark that to be EFI. So, the uh, EF for P type will shift upwards and it can be allowed up to it reaches EFI. Okay. Then further if you increase the temperature what will happen? It will go into the conduction band. Then there won't be the total overlapping of conduction band and valence band will take place and it will lose its a semiconducting behavior itself that is the extreme stage okay so till it reaches intrinsic fermi level you can increase beyond that it will become intrinsic beyond that it will become a conductor okay so the temperature is unimportant parameter which has to be kept in mind the operating range of temperature has to be well understood to operate the device now if suppose i increase the open concentration then what will happen see here i will draw the picture let me not draw fully just a, a simple one i assume that this is conduction band and this is valence band i am not showing the width and all perfectly because the variation i am showing is important rest of it is not important so this is ev and this is EC. Okay. So, I am showing EV. Then EA. Then EF. At T is equal to 0 Kelvin. Now, I am increasing the dopant concentration. So, when I am increasing the concentration, then EF will also shift upwards. EF will also shift upwards and also once again the cutoff point is EF, I intrinsic level only. So, if I increase 
the dopant concentration ef will move upwards you can ask a question what will happen if i increase the temperature that also moves up only now i just take some example say this is uh, uh, corresponding to one value now higher the dopant what will be the situation so if i am having the, this one this represents na to be equal to 10 power 21 atoms per meter cube now suppose i am increasing more means this will be like this Yet it need to be equal to 10 power 24 atoms per meter cube. Please write down everything in your notebook. Draw the pictures. Only then you will be able to understand. Okay. So what is understood is for the same temperature, if I am increasing the impurity atoms, the doping level is increased as that is na is equal to 10 power 24 atoms per meter cube the whole concentration increases and hence the fermi energy level decreases so therefore at low temperature the fermi energy level may be increased up to the intrinsic energy level okay so with this the energy band diagram is completed so this with this i completed carrier concentration of p type semiconductors this has got two parts first part is stopped with fermi energy calculation second part we have substituted the fermi equation into the carrier concentration equation and drawing brought the final equation simplify further and brought the final equation also we have drawn the energy band diagram we have shown the variation of temperature and doping into the p type semiconductors also okay so that also is shown in the in, in terms of uh, uh, energy band diagram okay thank you students